folks this is how to prep for seven days for two horses so each bucket or coffee can the large ones um, holds a gallon size Ziploc freezer bag so there are 14 buckets and there are 14 Ziploc freezer bags so that's a total of 28 so that's two servings each day for two different horses okay now here comes the fun part filling them so each one fills pretty easily. I <laughs> made a mess. But the farther you pull that up, the easier. So you can get one scoop measured out for each horse and then repeat. Now I'm going in with my little scoop of alfalfa pellets into each one so they all have the same. All right, now for our little bit of supplementation. We're just doing some milled flaxseed and it's very easy to add a dose to each one pretty simply now that they're in all right now it comes time this horse is going to have to have 10 pills a day or 12 pills a day twice a day for the next four days so each one of these pill packets in a little bit one we can just set it in there with each one and so now we know how many days worth to dose. So the ones with the pill packets, you know you're gonna use those first. Now I'll show you what to do with the pill packets and get it ready for feeding the horse after that. So these last ones don't have pill packets. So these last three days are gonna go at the bottom of the container. So they use the ones at the top of the container first. Okay, pretty simple. Now we have our supplements, everything mixed, and there we go, and we're going to pack our bottom with that. Okay, there's our days without pill packets. Okay, now here's our bag with our pill packet inside, so those will be on top. All right, there you go. That is seven days worth of food in there and ready to go. Okay, so we have the bag with one serving, and this is what we're going to do to hydrate these little pills. Luckily, it doesn't take them long. You can put them in a uh, syringe, do it that way, but just a bottle of water. Take it in there, fill it up until it just kind of covers them. There we go. And make sure it's tight and you don't spill it because it's kind of a pain. So let that just sit in there for a minute. And there we go. We can feed this to the horse now. All right, this is... This is seven days worth of feed here. We got seven buckets, so this is two times a day, and each bucket will have one serving, and that'll be one serving for one horse. Men out, and we can easily fill each bucket with our measured feed, and then we can add supplements. All right, there you go, all seven days in each bucket, so they're all measured out. Now we can add supplements. I'm adding black oil sunflower seeds, just enough in each one. I have a horse that I'm trying to keep nice and black, and that helps. All right, here's the deal with black oil sunflower seeds. Yes, they eat the seed and everything. The roughage is actually good for them. The strong omega-3 fatty acids are actually found in the black oil sunflower seeds. So I just kind of top them off a little bit, and that's enough to keep their coats bright and shiny. Oh, and lastly, I'm just topping off with a little alfalfa pellet on there trying not to spill it's kind of hard to hold the camera but each one just gets a little bit of alfalfa pellet and i know i'm just put sprinkling it over the top so yeah it's a rough measurement you can measure it out but i'm kind of in a hurry oh and lastly because it's summer they need a little extra salt and electrolytes and to make sure that they're getting enough giving them some um, balanced mineral salts okay lastly you get to shake everything up, give it a good shake, make sure everything gets broken up. It's hard to do with my hand on the camera. Next, we pack them down into the trash can. They fit real nice. There you go, seven days worth of feed. Make sure your lid's on tight, and there you got it. Okay, so we've got the horse. She's like ready for her food. So now we go ahead and we dump out her serving in there. And see this, it's all nice and milky. So it's gonna dissolve real good. So just give it a pour. 
So that in and of itself isn't real appealing. I'm just gonna go over, gonna get, you know, just a little bit of water. And we're gonna turn this into mush. So it'll kind of all mix around and she'll eat all that. There you go. Joining me in today's video. And if you enjoyed the video, give us a like. And if you haven't already, please.